Hello, today I'm going to be taking a look at the Curamaster MM731, which is a wireless gaming mice weighing in at less than 60 grams and currently costing less than £60 in the UK. So the mice actually launched last year, and when it first came out, the reviews were not favourable at all. The mice did have some very significant issues with motion delay, and the gaming performance wasn't good at all. And if you actually put this model number into YouTube, you'll find lots of reviews telling you whatever you do, don't buy this mouse. So what am I doing with it on my channel? Well, Cutter Master have reached out and said actually they released a firmware update which fixes all of these issues. And as you're going to see, the mouse has some very impressive specs. So with the issues fixed, it should actually be a really good gaming mouse. So that's what we're going to be finding out today. In the box with the mouse, we have got our user guide. We've got a USB Type A to Type C adapter. We've got some rubber grips and an alcohol wipe to help with applying them. We've got the mouse herself, and we've got the cable. Taking a closer look at the Cooler Master Ultra Weave cable, which is designed to be both lightweight and flexible. It's 1.8 meters long. On the end, it goes into the mouse with a Type-C connector. On the end, into the PC, it's a USB Type-A connector. And we've got the gold plating on both sides. So taking a closer look at the mouse itself, you can see that it has an ergonomic shape designed for people who are right-handed. In terms of the aesthetic, it's fairly plain here. There is a little bit of RGB here, which you'll see later on when we power on the mouse. Um, but it's a nice matte black. Um, there's a slightly roughened appearance to the mouse, so it actually fits quite nicely into the hand and actually feels reasonably grippy. If you want it to be more grippy, as you've already seen, we do have some rubber grips included in the box. Um, the mouse actually weighs in at less than 60 grams, which is quite impressive given that the shell is solid and doesn't have any holes in it. The mouse's right and left buttons have optical switches with a lifespan of 70 million clicks. The mouse features a 1900 DPI Pickstart PAW3370 optical sensor, and we've got PTFE feet on the bottom. So as you can see, we've got a hybrid mouse, and we're going to use this switch to switch between three different modes. So with the switch in the center, we're in the wired mode, and we're going to need to use the included cable to operate the mouse. Sliding the switch over to the left-hand side puts the mouse into Bluetooth mode, and the mouse uses Bluetooth 5.1. Sliding our switch all the way over to the right hand side it puts the mouse into the 2.4 GHz wireless mode. Our wireless dongle is just under this little cover, so if we remove the cover, it pops up very nicely and it can simply be removed. The MM731 features a 500 mAh battery and in Bluetooth mode that should give you up to 190 hours of use. In the 2.4 GHz wireless mode, it's up to 72 hours of use which is the mode probably most people are going to be using to get improved gaming performance. To adjust the DPI, we just need to press this button, and the color of the LED here shows you an indicator of what the DPI is. Um, yellow is the least sensitive, and red is the most sensitive. So I'm just going to leave it in the middle on the green for now. So as you can see, the RGB on the mouse is really subtle. It's just the outline of the Cooler Master logo. This can be adjusted using the Master Plus software, and I'll show you this later on, but we can also use the buttons on the mouse to do this as well. So to do this, we want to do a wheel click, and then press the forward button, and that's going to cycle through the different colors. As you can see, turning the RGB off is the first option, and then we've got a range of static colors. If we want to change the mode, again, it's a wheel click, and we're going to press the backward button and that's going to cycle through the various modes. And again, having things turned off is also an option. Okay, so I'll give you a listen to what the mouse sounds like.
Okay, so I've connected the mouse to my PC in the 2.4 GHz wireless mode. I've installed Cooler Master's Master Plus software. You'll find a link to this in the description. So we can go ahead and open it up. Okay, so the Master Plus software has found our mouse and you can see our, the version of our firmware is quite outdated. There is a much more recent version available, so I'm gonna go ahead and install it. Okay, so it wants us to make sure we're in the 2.4 GHz mode, which we are in the dongles plugged in. So I'm gonna click on OK. Okay, so it wants us to switch the mouse from wired mode back to the 2.4 gigahertz mode. So I'm gonna switch it to the wired mode and then back to the 2.4 gigahertz mode. And that started the software update. Okay, so that update was successful. I'm gonna click on OK. And it shows that it confirmed that we're now running the latest version and we click on OK. So in the wireless tab, we can see our battery's percentage. We can choose after which time it's going to go into sleep mode and at what battery percentage is going to switch into low power mode. Going over to the buttons, we can customize the buttons so we can choose whatever options we want from here. And in terms of performance, we've got a whole range of options here. We can adjust the mouse sensitivity, the USB polling rate, the angle snapping, the lift off distance, the OS sensitivity, OS double click speed, left and right button response time, and we can do surface tuning. In terms of lighting, we were able to do some of this with the hardware control. I'm going to switch the button over just to a static white, which is a fairly simple and straightforward to do. We've got macros and we've got profiles that we can set up and obviously rename. And then we are able to switch the profiles with the hardware buttons. So I've been using the mouse now for some time and everything has been really positive with it. In terms of the ergonomic shape, I'm a big fan of this. It sits really nicely in my hand. And because the mouse has a slightly roughened texture to it, it grips really well. So I've had no issues at all with the mouse sliding out of my hand. In terms of accuracy and performance, this has been really good as well. And as the mouse is lovely and light, it slides really well over the mouse mat. So like I say, everything to do with this mouse, I've been very impressed with. Now, I only do game fairly casually, but fortunately my youngest boy, Matthew, plays games fairly seriously, and he actually plays Fortnite competitively. So his opinion on whether this is a good mouse is probably more valuable than mine. So what I'm gonna do is get him to play a game of Fortnite using the mouse, he's never used it before, and let us know what he thinks about it. So you've just seen Matthew playing Fortnite and he had a pretty good win there. So first place, and how many kills did you get? Uh, 20. 20 kills as well. Um, and you were playing a tournament earlier on today, weren't you? So what, what tournament was that? The Lightning Cup. Lightning Cup. And what did you come? Uh, 31st. Out how many? Uh, 15,000. Yeah, so, so Matthew's a pretty serious Fortnite player. Um, he spends an awful lot of time playing Fortnite. I do wish he'd spent a little bit more time doing his schoolwork than playing Fortnite, but um, you can see from his skills there that he has definitely has spent time well spent and he's pretty good. So it puts him in perfect place to test this mouse and tell us what he thinks of it. Um, so before we start, Matthew, have I told you you have to say anything nice about this Cutter Master mouse? No, I haven't. So if it's absolutely awful, um, well, first of all, it's, we know it's not awful because you did pretty well playing with it. But if it was awful, you'd say that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. Okay, good. Okay, so what did you think of the mouse? I thought it was uh, like, uh, you got really good control of the mouse. It, it's very light and um, it's like very accurate. Yeah, no, you definitely did well playing with it. 
And, and what about the comfort of it? Because it's that ergonomic grip. Um, how did you find that? Uh, it like uh, fit perfectly in my hand. Okay. And grippiness wise, um, because of the texture in it, I, I quite liked it. It's, it's, it was pretty snug in my hand. Did it, did it ever slide out of your hand? Uh, no, it didn't slide out of my hand. And what about lifting the mouse up? Well, certainly when I looked at some of the other reviews, people were saying that it was very weighted towards the back and it made it difficult to lift the mouse up. And I noticed when you were gaming, you did have the mouse up a few times. Any, any problems with that? Uh, no. So, okay, it worked well for you? Yeah. Okay. Um, in terms of mice, you definitely had a few over your time plan. Um, where would you rate that one? Was it, is it the best one you've used? Probably for second best. Okay, and, and what would be your, the best one? Probably for Logitech G Pro Superlight. Okay, and what makes it better than the Cooter Master MM731? I don't think anything makes it better. I just think it's like, um, it suits me better. Okay, so it's one you've been using for a while and you're, you're confident with, because that was obviously the first time you've used that mouse. Yeah. Okay. So what would you think if I was to tell you you could buy that mouse for less than £60? I think that's like a really good deal. That's very cheap for it. Okay. So um, it definitely looks like Killer Master have fixed this mouse um, with their firmware update. Um, as like I say, Matthew plays fairly competitively and he found the performance of the mouse was really good. Um, so well done to Killer Master for turning things around. You, you probably didn't realise, but when that mouse first came out, it got absolutely terrible reviews because the, there was a problem with the firmware. Um, and that's why Cutter Master were keen to get it reviewed this late on because they fixed the problem and actually the specs in the mouse are really good and you, you enjoyed using them. Yeah. Okay, so would it get your thumbs up? Yeah, it would. And you'd recommend people to buy it? Uh, yeah, 100% would. Okay, super. Um, the only other thing, if you have enjoyed watching Matthew play Fortnite, he, he does have a YouTube channel as well. Um, so what's your channel called? Pyfe. Okay, and we'll put a link to his channel in the description. So please check it out and give him a subscribe. Um, since I gave his mother a shout out in the video earlier in the week, she has overtaken him. So it would be nice if we could actually get him ahead of his mother. And um, so again, please give him, a, give him a subscribe and go and check out his videos. He doesn't upload quite as frequently as maybe what he should, but that's because he's spending too much time playing the games and not enough time doing his homework. Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.